Someone asked me a question and said, why does God answer some people's prayers and not that of others if you don't have to do anything to deserve his love? Let me show you something. In Jeremiah 33 verse 3, God said, you will call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you don't know about. Now, for everyone that calls upon the name of the Lord, God answers them. In Romans 10 verse 13 to 15, Paul said, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. So, and the Bible also says that whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will never be cast away. So, everyone that calls upon the name of the Lord is saved. Everyone that calls upon the name of the Lord receives answers to their petitions. But how come some people get it and some people don't get it? That is a real deal. And so, I will attempt to answer this question using a few illustrations. Number one, back in school, there was a sister who was harassed by a lecturer. And then we prayed that God would intervene in her case. And let me tell you what happened. She was in her final year, the lecturer was a supervisor. After we prayed, the lecturer was moved to go on sabbatical. And so she was reassigned to another lecturer. A day after her project defense, this bad <laughs> lecturer returned. <laughs> okay, but she had crossed anyway. So she passed and went um, with a mate. She got later with a mate. The second incident, we prayed, but the lecturer was not moved and the sister failed back. So you ask, you ask a question, why didn't God answer that prayer? Now, after some, some time, after the lady eventually left school, she began to hear about other people that the lecturer had victimized. So she started a movement and she started campaigning against bad lecturers who are harassing students. And I tell you, she was able to help a lot of young people find freedom from the oppression of these lecturers. Did God answer her prayer on campus or not? Maybe or maybe not. But one thing is certain that she was able to get answer eventually after she left. So God answers our prayers in different ways. Another time we ask this question is when a loved one is sick and we are exercising faith, we are praying and say, God, your word says that if we agree concerning anything, it will be done to us. But you pray all the prayers of agreement, sanctification and everything, eventually the person dies. Doesn't mean you did not have faith, no. It's not because you did not have faith. It's because we cannot choose the vehicle through which God uses to convey people to the afterlife. So when we pray like that, and it looks like we are not receiving answer, we need to ask ourselves, what is God saying about this? Now, let me show you something in Matthew 7, verse 7 and verse 8. Jesus said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. And then he said, Whoever asks, receives. Whoever seeks, finds. Whoever knocks, the door shall be opened unto them. Now, what was Jesus telling us in this place? He was describing three major ways or levels of prayer. The first one, which many of us do randomly, is the level of asking. So you go ahead and you are praying and you say, God, I want my, my, my sister, or I want my mom to be healed of this sickness. And then you go ahead and you pray. And you keep praying and you keep praying and you keep praying. But you do not receive, you do not get to the point rather, you do not get to the point where you are seeking God's face concerning that matter. Where you are seeking what God is saying concerning that matter, 
Many of us do not get to that point whenever we pray. All we care is that we want this thing to happen and it must happen now. But once you seek, Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness. Seek the will of God concerning the issue. So what is God saying? Is God saying that this is the vehicle to take this person home or this is only a temporary thing? When Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, Jesus said, this sickness is not unto death. He didn't just say it as a matter of faith. Remember, he told us that whatever he sees the Father do, that is what he also does. So, Jesus must have seen that God wants to glorify himself in this matter. And that was why he didn't just rush and get off immediately. He waited until the situation became impossible so that God can truly glorify himself. So, we need to seek the the face of God concerning the issue. God, what do you want to accomplish through this issue? Once we have sought the face of God, we now move to the point of knocking. That is where we begin to wage the, the warfare of faith. The Bible says, fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal life. When we have sought the face of God and God says, look, this person is not going to die now. Now remember, eventually everybody will die. But this person is not going to die now. There's still something I want to do through this person. But then the situation has become so bad. Then you are knocking. You are pushing things in the spirit. Probably it is demonic interference that is making that person to be sick and down because they know that God wants to do something through that person. What are you supposed to do as a person? Then you begin to push in the spirit. Knocking is like this door must open. This door must open. You keep pushing things in the spirit. You keep knocking. You keep knocking. You keep knocking. Knocking until the door is open to you in the spirit realm. Once the door is open this, to you in the spirit realm, it's a matter of time before that thing you are praying for becomes a reality before you touch it it will manifest eventually so you just need to understand that so you ask you get to the from the point of asking concerning that situation to seeking the mind of god concerning that thing and seeking is not just about you reading the bible no it is about hearing in your spirit man what god wants to do through that situation once you can seek it then you keep knocking until the door is opened unto you I hope I have answered your question and I hope that these tips help. Remember that you can always send me your questions, please. You can drop them in the comment or send me a DM. I will definitely respond to your questions. Remember that you are a winner 